out here is that there's not one of us, including myself, that could have been elected if, in fact, we didn't have Democratic and Republican votes. Yes. We need Democratic yes, and Republican do. votes. We need to make a difference. The only way you can is by having the right policies. And these people up here and the president that we want to see, Donald Trump, has the right policies to bring this nation back. Thank you. I know that we have a lot of work to do, and I know Svetlana and David and all the club members are busy, so I apologize. But the reason we're up here is not because we love to hear ourselves talk. It's really to fill you with passion, to get your neighbors. Remember what I'm saying to you. We're not fighting with Democrats. We're fighting with people who are fighting against what we believe in. And we believe in America. Now, please, I ask you to keep your presentation to three minutes, if possible. And it is a great honor for me to present to you the Republican endorsed candidate for New York State Senate, U.S. Marine. Who did we start with a long time ago? What was his name? Senator, Senator Golden? Golden? Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with a strong, strong presence, Marco Kepi. You're an ex New York Senator. Thank you. Hey, the chairman said, my name is Marco Kepi. I'm a proud U.S. Marine, and I've had the great honor of having my first political job for the greatest senator in the state of New York, Senator Marty Golden. Absolutely. Coming out of retirement, Marty. When, yep. people, when people tell me why you're in politics, why you're running, it's very simple. The first day that I worked for Senator Marty Golden, our first event, I'll never forget that day, it was for guilt for exceptional children. These are children with special needs, now they're adults. And I remember when I walked into that room, the moment they saw Senator Golden, they all lined up, it was about 30 of them, and each and every one of them was hugging him and thanking him for what he has done for them and for their programs. And I get goosebumps every time I think about it. You know, these were uh, people with special needs, and they appreciated and they understood what Senator Golden did for them. And that's when I learned the love of politics, that actually the word politician a lot of times is a bad word, but that's when I saw the good side of politics and what a politician is supposed to do. So thank you, Senator Golden, for empowering me. New York, as Senator Golden said three years ago, crime was much lower. Now crime is skyrocketed. You know, it, it, it's completely terrible, and it's because of these radical Democrats, Marxists, as the chairman said, that they completely went off the track. They're no longer regular blue-collar Democrats. They're so far to the left that it's destroyed the state. The no, no cash bail, the giving criminals more rights than police officers. You know, police officers are afraid to do their job because right away, you know, they're the ones that get blamed for everything. God forbid they take the perp and they handle him a little too rough. You know, there's all sorts of allegations and lawsuits, so they're even afraid to do their job, and they do a great job protecting our city. The small amount of people that we have serving as police officers, less than 30,000 this year, and we have 9 million people in this city, they do an absolutely amazing job, so I thank the NYPD for everything that they do. But in order for them to lower those numbers, they need elected officials in the Senate and the Assembly to have their back. Yes. They need elected officials to make sure when a criminal gets arrested, they don't walk out before they go into the precinct. They need to make sure that when these police officers are doing their job, they're not afraid to, to go after the criminal. They're not afraid that something's going to happen to them or their families. We need to have their back 100% because they have our back even when we're sleeping. And that's why we have to su support our police officers and our special, uh, everyone that protects and the city. And our veterans, and Marco, our, and our veterans. And our veterans. And you know, when I talk about our veterans, it's, 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 a, it's a shame, you know. As a Marine, I worked in the shelters with the illegal migrants, brand new hotels, they get everything for free. I remember they got free iPhones, free iPads, free internet for three years. These rooms were like phenomenal. You know, I still serve in the Marines. If you see some of our barracks, it's, it's embarrassing. It's like mold and it's they're, they're, they're complete garbage. But these illegal migrants are being prioritized over our veterans. Some of our veterans, believe it or not, they were evicted. Evicted from their homes from the shelters to put in illegal migrants, and they had no option. So as elected officials, it is our job to make sure that those that fought and sacrificed for this country lost legs, arms, you know, they, they have all sorts of problems because they serve this country, they should be taken care of, they should be a priority, and that's what they're bringing. 